Okay, so we'll just start up right where we left off from the last video. I'm going to show you how to import a shape file into this map and change some of the settings to make it look a little bit more uh, desirable. So I will just navigate to the place where I have put my shape file. Uh, and we're going to want this. Uh, I've got the Ames right of way shape file here. I'll take the one that has the .shp extension and I'll simply drag it into the map. And we'll see the lines, the right of way lines come into the correct place. Um, and then what we can do is up over here in the map pane, it's actually interpreted this as a shape file. And in fact, if we go into uh, data connections, it's going to show, yes, I do have a, a shape file connection that's been automatically added. So in fact, I could have gone in and done this. I could have added my shape file from this menu over here. And the lines are coming in as yellow, which if you're going to be printing off, I don't know why that's the default, but if that's uh, if that's something that you want to change, you can go ahead and click over here, go double click on that yellow line, and now I've just got the style right here, these three dots, and I can change whatever I want to, I can change it to black, Let's say I want it to be a little bit wider. This is in inches, so I'll change it to 0.25 inches. And I'll do apply, and we got something over there. Um, and let's say I wanted to uh, distinguish that this line is, in fact, a right-of-way line. On most Iowa DOT maps, you'll see these little uh, text that's right inside of the line that says right of way and we can in fact do that from AutoCAD and I'll show you how I will first change this to a dashed line so I'll just take the standard uh, AutoCAD dashed line click apply and maybe that's a little bit on the long side so I'll change the I believe it's height to 0.15 and okay so we've got some space in between there and now I'll click add symbol and now I've got a second line and if I apply it in fact it'll just look like a line again because these are two so you can call them layers that are on top of each other so I can go down here and go to uh, plain text I'm not sure what the difference is between play te plain text and M text is, but I can actually just put in RW for right of way. And the height of my other lines are 0.15 inches, so I'll make these 0.15 and see what that looks like. And I'll click apply. And that looks all right. I think what I would rather do is put a little bit more space in between there and I can actually go down to advanced drop down and I can give it an offset or I can give it a repeat interval let's say one let's do apply let's make it a little bit more we'll call it five we'll do apply okay we'll call it 2.5 and I'll give it an offset from the start of 0.5 Okay, and now if you're really uh, obsessive about this, what we can do is we could actually make sure that the spacing is uh, offset so these RWs always fit in the, uh, the blank space. So I'll put offset at 0 and repeat interval at 0.5. We'll apply that. I'll go ahead and uh, make an offset from start point four. Okay, and this isn't going to be perfect, but it seems like these lines on the bottom here are the RWs are coming out generally 
in between the two sides and on this up here it's still appearing in the middle but if you really wanted to get into that you could make as many changes as you wanted to and also we can even change the order uh, that these appear in if your right of way is underneath the uh, the map which for some reason isn't named we'll just call that aims aerial let's say I put this on the aerial on top and then our right of way lines will actually disappear because they are being displayed underneath so as you go to add additional layers you can control uh, the way that they are displayed uh, quite easily and you can even make your own uh, groups for instance let's say let's say you wanted to draw some lines you could put them inside of this uh, say a default group and then when you draw you'll ensure that yes they're always displaying on top of the intersection um, now that we look at this I'm not I see that this is a mistake uh, with the right-of-way it's not in a mistake in the way it's projected but it seems like a mistake with the uh, original shape file so I can't really explain that but you may see some irregularity so if you have any additional questions or feel like you need some additional uh, GIS information feel free to uh, let me know thanks for watching